Linda's Pantry and today is my last installment for April 2021 uh, for Lisa and I's um, collaboration. Lisa over at Sutton's Days and I had this collaboration all month long. So if you're jumping on right now, you need to go back and watch all the videos. I did Mondays and Thursdays. She did Tuesdays and Fridays. And each of those videos, we actually gave you some idea of how to use your home canned products, but it could also use things from your refrigerator, from your uh, extended pantry, this is freeze dried, or your freezer. Whatever you've got on hand, but you're really using pantry items, focusing on your home canned items. So today I'm gonna focus on salmon. I haven't shown you how to use the salmon in a different way, and so I really wanna show you this. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's springtime, even though sometimes our weather isn't showing it right now, but I'm gonna make these beautiful beefsteak tomatoes stuffed with a salmon salad. What? Yes. And then you could use this on a sandwich or on crackers any way you want, but it's gonna be stuffed in these beautiful tomatoes. So the stars of the show are Northwest salmon that I canned last year. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful skin and bones in. You don't have to worry about it. You can take the skin off um, if you feel like it's thick. I don't, I don't worry about it because there's a lot of good stuff in that skin. You want all that good fat. So we'll drain the liquid off of that. I have one little <laughs> tiny red onion out of my garden from last year. I've got some green onions. The difference is just night and day. I've got a couple of cheeks of a red bell pepper. Those are things I need to use up in my fridge. I've already ha opened this um, Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I want to use that up. I've got lemon, and I store my lemons in this Tupperware Fridge Smart. I've had those in there for like three and a half weeks. They're still just as good as the day I bought them. So we're gonna zest some of that. A little lemon zest, some dill. I've got some feta cheese, and I've already got mayonnaise over here. And then these are Thrive. Uh, this is Thrive Celery. I don't have any fresh celery and I didn't want to stop at the store after work. So here we go. I'm going to bring you in close. We're going to get started on this recipe. It's super easy. It's light and it's something different for springtime and or summer. And if you're watching your figure, this is a very filling way to have some rich protein as well as some healthy vegetables. All right, come on in. Oh yeah, don't forget to comment because you'll be put in for uh, the chance to win, Lisa and I are both giving away something. We're going to random pick, in, pick a day that we videotaped, and then we're going to put it, that video will be the one that goes into the random picker draw, and we're both going to send you something absolutely fantastic. Okay, come on in. Don't forget, leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe! Okay, so I am ready to actually get this together. I don't think I'm going to need a um, any kind of a strainer, honestly, but I wanted you to see. Um, so this is the salmon, and you can see the skins on here. This beautiful Northwest salmon, and I, it was freshly caught. Okay, hold on. Whoops. And I know you guys ask every time. This is a Prialid, it's called. It was a gift. I think you can get these, um, they don't make them, I don't believe they make them anymore, but you can get these on, uh, not Amazon, ooh, yeah, what's the other one? Yeah. Ooh. That was a good seal, it just took two, two tries, oh, and it smells good, love it. So I'm going to drain the liquid off, if you had a kitty, um, and this, uh, this liquid is all the natural juices from the salmon. It's nothing more. So I'm going to let that drain. I'll probably get a stick of fork in there because there we go. It was kind of sealing the deal. Ooh, I don't want that to go away. Oh, look at this beautiful pink orange salmon. Look at that. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. Oh man, delicious, delicious. I'm super excited for this. I have a couple other salmon recipes that I wanna share with you that are not just like salmon cakes or, 
or this salmon salad, which is super easy. It, you're basically making, you know, almost a tuna salad kind of recipe, but with salmon. So you got that much liquid. You could, if you wanted to, if you were gonna make a, a rice dish, you could actually use this and um, serve that with fish if you wanted to. So you don't have to waste it. I've cut up my one cheek, uh, like a quarter of a bell pepper, that little red onion, and those three green onions. I've got that. I've got some feta cheese right here that I'm gonna crumble. My lemon. I've got everything ready. Some dill. Okay, so that means we're gonna move some of this out of the way. I do need to, <clears throat> we're gonna, oh, and I have a third of a cup of mayo in here. I'm, I'm gonna use the skin, the bones, everything. Now, if there's a, like any of the pin bones, you're not gonna, they're not gonna do anything. If there's any of the um, bones from the spine, and see, this doesn't leave any residue to speak of on your jar. They clean up really easy. So I don't see any vertebrae. Oh, yes I do. Okay, so these, you totally, totally can eat these. These are really good for you too. And they're soft, and see these pin bones? They just break apart. I can crush that spinal bone in there. Some people will not want that in their salad, so I'm gonna take that out. I'd eat it. Um, something good for your kitty or, well, for you. So we're gonna just break that up, kind of go through. Oh, do I see some more? And like I said, they're totally soft, edible for sure, lots of good calcium, but up to you whether you want it in your salad. Okay, so salmon in. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I need to hollow out these tomatoes and I'll get those added in as well. And make sure I get this broke up. I think we're fine. And the salmon, just you raw pack that. I do raw pack salmon, but I am gonna do for you this summer, I'm hoping that I get to um, do some smoked salmon for you. I wanna smoke it and can it. So this is about a half of a package of Greek yogurt, plain non-fat Greek yogurt that I opened the other day for a different recipe and now I'm gonna use that up because that's what this collab is really about. It's about using what you have in your pantry. And how do we use it? Okay, let's get the onions and the red peppers and I'll make it a pretty color and give it some crunch. I'm gonna get all that in there. This makes a big batch of salad. We're gonna get some lemon pepper. I get this at Trader Joe's. Quite a bit of lemon pepper seasoning. There's no seasoning on that salmon whatsoever. It's all just the natural flavor. And I, that drives me crazy. Okay. And then dill weed, because dill absolutely goes with salmon. So we're gonna put a healthy teaspoon of dill, dried dill. Let's grab some Thrive Celery. Okay, and we're gonna eyeball this. I'm a celery fan. If you've watched my channel, you can leave this out. So we're gonna say that's a quarter cup. I'm gonna do a half a cup. Now these are not gonna be crunchy like fresh celery, but it's gonna, any of the liquid, it's gonna go ahead and absorb it. It's gonna give it some texture that you're not gonna actually expect, um, I, but I think you're gonna love it. And then I wanna zest some lemon. Just the skin, I've already washed this lemon when I took it out and so, I love that I can keep these lemons for this long without them going bad because citrus goes south pretty fast if you don't have some way to preserve it or, you know, keep it fresh. And the um, Fridge Smarts do a 
wonderful, wonderful job. So I really want the zest of one lemon in here just to brighten it up. And then I'll go ahead and we'll get some of the juice, just a little bit. I don't want too much. So, you know, like half of that lemon. We're gonna get this stirred in and then I'll add my feta, let the celery get a chance to refresh and come back to life a little bit. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be perfect. My mouth's watering because I know how good this is. All right. Now, let's get, oh, man down. Let's get our counter wiped off and our tomatoes are ready to go. And then we'll add, once these this refreshes and I feel like we're ready, I'll add the feta. I don't wanna break the feta up too much, so. And then I should probably give this a little bit of a taste test, even though I'm not gonna taste the celery yet. Let's give it a bit of a taste test. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Yes, please, spring is here. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm probably gonna do some more lemon pepper, for sure. Maybe a little bit more lemon juice. I really like the brightness. And when I pair this with the tomato and the feta, it's gonna be perfect, you guys. I'm probably, because this is for my lunch and, um, a friend's lunch, so I'm probably not gonna cut into the tomatoes. I will stuff them for you and you can see what they look like and see how beautiful you can make this on a plate or a platter. But this is my salmon salad before the feta. Let's see, we got a piece with some celery in there now. And the celery refreshes pretty quickly, believe it or not, it really does. It doesn't give it the same crunch as fresh celery, but wow, a burst of celery flavor. So do it. All right, <laughs> the link's down below. I'll be back. So as I hollowed this one out, I was like, um, they might wanna see this. This is a beefsteak tomato. So I just take my little Tupperware paring knife and go all the way down. And you wanna try to tuck it to the edge as much as you can. You're gonna have to go back in here because you want all that, and I'm gonna show you. Cause see, there's some kind of a pithy core on these, and I don't want all that in my finished product. So I'm gonna go in here and kinda, and if you poke through the tomato, it's okay. It's not gonna care. And you're gonna get in here and see how I've got those pieces of pithy kind of core. I'm gonna take my spoon, and actually a grapefruit spoon would be perfect for this, because it's got a little serrated edge. But we're gonna get that, that icky, well, it's just, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, and it doesn't leave a whole lot of room for um, my salad to sit in it. And I really, this is gonna be my lunch and somebody else's lunch tomorrow. So now I'm gonna go ahead, all these seeds and all that liquid and everything is gonna come out of there and we'll have a nice hollowed out tomato. Hold on. And let me just scrape that all out. And you just, now, now you have a vessel of beauty for your salad. So it's had a chance to sit. I did, um, I squirt, I did, squeeze the rest of that half a lemon in here. And I just wanna go ahead and give it one more taste test now that it's sat here for a couple of minutes um, because I wanna make sure. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. mm, the lemon is bright but not overpowering. It's so good. I'm just gonna tell you. Guys, this is such an easy recipe and absolutely delicious. We're gonna add our feta and fold it into the uh, salad. So you're just gonna crumble it. And that's gonna be like a, just a little bit of a surprise to get that creamy bite of feta. Oh. I know people think, oh, fish and cheese, but ah, cheese goes with tuna casserole. 
I put uh, quite often in my salmon cakes, I will add grated cheese or feta. Um, so, so just crumble it however you want, and then we're just gonna fold it because I don't want it. I don't want to pulverize where you, you know you don't get a bite like that. All right, let me wash my hands off real quick, and we're gonna get this done and. Uh, you're gonna see the finished product is beautiful. Okay, let's fold that up. Can you guys see? So you're just gonna fold it in um, just so it's throughout the mixture. And that was probably mm, four ounces of feta to that one pint. And if I didn't say that earlier, sometimes it's hard to see what size jar we're using on camera, but that was a one pint jar of salmon. So you can see this makes a lot. Um, I'll be able to have this for a couple of days. And oh my goodness, okay. Perfect amount of feta, I see it in there. And now we're gonna stuff our tomatoes. What a beautiful spring idea. I love stuffed tomatoes. And I do a stuffed tomato that's grilled. So if you want to see a grilled stuffed tomato, please, please leave me a comment in the comment section and I will do that for you. So today though, we're just doing this beautiful stuffed tomato. I like to stuff tomatoes with chicken salad as well. I, I have a really fun recipe for that if you'd like to see that. I know everybody's got their chicken recipe, chicken salad, but might not be the one I'm using. Look at how pretty that is. That is a picture of delicious springtime, summertime. What a great way to use your home canned salmon. Oh, I might have scooped up too much to go in to the first load up. And you're using stuff you have in your fridge, your pantry. Let's make sure I got that stuffed adequately because we want to overstuff these. We really do. I don't want these to be wimpy at all. This might have to be dinner and lunch tomorrow. I don't know, because now my mouth is watering. I might actually um, have the rest of this salad that's in here on a lettuce cup for dinner. Or a lettuce wrap. Lettuce, yeah, I'll do it in a lettuce. lettuce. All right, there we go. Woo, it's beautiful. And absolutely a perfect way to use your home canned salmon. And you still have enough. You probably could easily stuff three big beef steak, steak tomatoes. You could stretch it out to four if you wanted to. I'm just gonna wipe the outside edge of my tomatoes off so they're pretty for presentation. And then you're just gonna cut into those and here's this gorgeous little bowl of absolutely wonderful. We'll serve this with some lemon wedge on the side because you know we like it. And there you go. A little bit of parsley. Let's get a picture and we'll call this absolutely fabulously done. Clean up my board. And guys, that's my salmon salad for you today. I hope that you enjoy this recipe. I hope that you try it. I really do. You could put like lemon slices on the edge of that and garnish it even further. In fact, maybe I will. Let's see if I can pull that one off um, with a pretty little slice, thin slice of lemon. Just put that right there. Ooh, pretty. Little, little wedged lemon. How fun is that? And you've got just a beautiful lunch or dinner, either one.
All right, there we go. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe, hopefully using your home canned pantry items and you are excited to explore new recipes and sharing this with your friends and family. All right, guys, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. Um, and as always, I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe from Linda's Pantry. All right, guys, bye.